So normally what we react to is uh, police officers going wrong. Today I wanted to mix it up a bit. So we're going to react to Fresh and Fit, Myron from Fresh, Fresh and Fit. And him you know, getting confronted by a girl on the street. I was watching it, but I was like, let's watch it together. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and share. Let's do this. Oh shit. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I just have a question. Here we go. Go ahead. Why do you only bring OnlyFans girls on your podcast? Alright, look at this. So we actually keep data on the girls that come on the show. OnlyFans girls are actually a minority of the women that we bring on. So what's a majority? I don't watch your podcast that much and I I'll admit that. You know what the podcast podcast but you know. Maybe it's an algorithm. So maybe I kinda came off a little strong. Yeah. But why do you think that is? Um, Are you no, intellectual? We've got women in from different types of professions, doctors, lawyers, estheticians, different types of professions. But fields. I'm, I'm asking, why do you think I'm, that I'm the gonna, algorithm... I'm going to explain yeah, yeah, yeah. that. So, the thing is, is that typically, the smarter women don't say as much. So like she firstly she said that I've been dying to like see how you're doing and all that and I want to meet you and all that and why do you always bring uh, only fun cuz and then when he said that look majority of our not does the minority from only fun then she goes all right maybe I came out a bit too strong and I've watched some of the shorts that's what she's trying to do that's what she's trying to say but she hasn't watched the show she's just seen some clips and then clips go viral of a girl that talk a lot which majority are only fun girls those are the ones that get the clips okay. and then that's how you see it on your feed and you're like oh my god this only fans girl but the reality is that that's just one girl on the panel versus the other girls are silent the memorable ones are the idiots and those tend to be the, the only fans girls i don't really think that's true though i've watched a couple i've watched it i it got to a point where i was like okay i don't really want to watch it anymore but yeah I've she just said she hasn't it. seen it yeah if you watch it then you should know that like a majority of the girls are not only fans girls some are but not a majority can we pull up the stats in the different career fields, actually? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, would, I would like to watch the We've videos. interviewed over 3,000 girls. I really would like to watch the videos last year. Yeah, so yeah, a majority definitely aren't OnlyFans girls. Those are just the people that you remember because those are the ones that, like, go viral. Okay. I, I, don't, really, I don't have TikTok, so True. that's why I'm like... I'm YouTube asking. shorts, Instagram, yeah. people put our stuff everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, that's what made you ask this question, though? I mean, do you agree or disagree? I think everybody has their own path. I don't really think... I don't know what the well, question is. Very young, before yeah, but they're, they're a tried and true path, so they're just simply... 24 is a bit too old as well. For example, before 22. if I want to be a doctor, there's a path for that. I can't just sit here and say, yeah, oh, I, I have my own path. Like, well, you got to go to med school. What does that have to do with marriage, though? Because I'm going to I'm going to go to law school, right? Uh -huh. I'm going to, pers me personally. Yeah. But when, I'm 22. Yeah. I started a little late. I was a student athlete, whatever. Yeah. But what does that have to do with marriage? Like, okay, so do you think that your law degree or you becoming a lawyer is going to... What's the main purpose of a woman? What, do, what does a woman do that a man cannot do? That's creation. And she should get at creation as early as possible. Personal opinion. Because there isn't anything else that a woman does that makes her extraordinary, apart from creation. Think your ability to find a man? Mm -hmm. Okay, so would it be fair to say that like a woman's career isn't that important as they think it is to finding a man? I think they're two separate things. Yeah, yeah. but you do understand that pursuing the career directly puts the other one in jeopardy. For example... I don't agree with that. You don't agree with that? I don't, yeah. Okay. Why do you not agree with that? Because I think that if you're pursuing a career, uh -huh. you're going to find someone that's aligned with that. You know what I mean? Well, if you're trying to be a lawyer, you're going to be working pretty hard, right? Yeah. You're going to be studying. Yeah. Then you're going to get a maybe make partner at a firm one day or whatever you're gonna be working a lot of hours right and i i assume me personally that your partner as i have my partner i assume that you're making that plan with them so you guys are kind of aligning your lives with you think men, each other you think men want to date someone else that's career oriented i'm sorry that's you think men want to date someone else that's career oriented like them Maybe, maybe not. I'm Would you want to date a guy that takes longer to get dressed than you and gets his nails done every week and maybe wears high heels on Sundays? But that has nothing to do with being I'm career going I'm going somewhere with this. Would okay. you want a guy that does that? I wouldn't mind. And wears heels? What? 
I mean, wears heels, that means that they're probably not sexually oriented, as I am, maybe. Huh? You mean as a they're not masculine? Heels? They're not masculine. Yeah. Okay. Well, but, that, but, that but, that's right? but that statistically aligns with being sexually oriented. I don't know what you just oriented. said. Oriented. Oriented, sorry. Yeah, I don't know what you just said. But I, the, what I'm trying to describe here is that you don't want a feminine man, correct? I don't, I've been with feminine You don't mind. Men. How did that work out? I'm not I just, that anymore. That's because I was going through my own things, oh, but sure. yeah. 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 So, so you didn't find him attractive. What I'm trying to say here is no, that yeah, men don't, don't care. But that doesn't matter. Feminine men and masculine men, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about marriage. To, and your partner pursues your personal, your personal preference okay. as a partner. Let me be very blunt about this. Okay. Men don't give a fuck about a woman's career. And the reason why we don't True. is because we don't want to date ourselves. So you getting a law degree and rising up the ranks and making a partner one day doesn't make you sexier. I would argue. Well, it actually makes you... Well, women are looking to be sexier by looking for a No, but, but here's the problem. Women think that their career defines their, their value, which it doesn't. This is why men typically want younger women. We don't care about your career and your money and everything else. We don't want to date ourselves. If I'm a lawyer as a guy, why would I want to date a girl that's also a lawyer that's not going to have time for me? The reason why is because you don't see women as women. You don't see women as a human. Oh, I don't see them as human. No, you don't. You see them as a person that's going to give birth to a... You see them as a breeder. You see them as someone that's going to give your child and is going to be a housewife. And that's fine if a woman wants to be that. So you don't want to be a housewife, you? I do, but there's a balance. I don't want to be a housewife, I want to be a mother. And you can be both. You can be both. I don't know where this conversation came from that you can't be both. See, this is one of the so feminist lies. So you can, be a, you can be a dad, right? You can be a yeah. father. Yeah. yeah. And you can have a career. Yes. Okay. But I can't be a mother and have a career. No. no. Because it's my job to provide and protect. It's your job to nurture the child. Okay. And if you're working at work all the time, you can't nurture the child. But I'm not working all the time. I'm not you know, it's so crazy. She thinks that yeah, I'm not working all the time. But you're gonna be if if you're in a firm, the minimum you're gonna be doing is at least eight hours a day. And what what the child gonna do for that eight hours a day? Probably in nursery. Getting taught by the getting taught these sick things that are going on in school about life, which I don't know if most parents even want their child to know about stuff. But let's hear. Lawyer, right? Yeah, but I'm you not. You understand that being a lawyer. My, my partner, my I work as a legal assistant, and my boss is a partner. <laughs> She owns her firm. Okay. Like her husband. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Did she cut her hours back? Just the same as her husband. Her husband comes in later because he dropped off the kids. She comes in earlier and she leaves earlier. Okay. Because she goes so to she, pick up so, the kids. So she went ahead and prioritized the kids then? She put the back, the, so the law firm? But so did the father. He because he works. came in later. He came in at 12 o'clock to drop off the kids. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. He I work there because, hours. no, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't hours. because I'm his assistant. And I'm both of their assistant. You can't, you're gaslighting right now. I'm not gaslighting, you're no, being you emotional. No, you are, I'm not being emotional. You're, you're being very emotional. I love this. This is yeah. what I wanted to well, yeah. Again, I'll be, again, men don't care about women's careers. I did, because you, you saying, don't care about them as humans. A career? Why, why, why do you chase your career? <laughs> no, don't chase your career. Why do you look for your career, right? Why do you look for your career? Do you have a dream to be a provider? Or are you, do you have a career? Do you have a dream to be more? more? See, you can't ask me a question and then I'll let me answer it. Men have to provide, women don't have to. That's the difference. Absolutely. How many, as a man, if you're a bum, your ability to find women is going to be tarnished. But as a woman, if you don't have a job, you can still find a guy to take care of you. It doesn't work the same way. But that's how it's been built. I didn't invent it. I know, I know but that's my point. I wish I could dismantle it the point. way that you want to dismantle it. No, 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 I'm not trying to dismantle it. I think we need to keep it. I think women shouldn't work. I think they should be at home. I don't think so. I don't think so because women have more to give than to just raise a child. You know, what are they going to do in the workforce? Let's make things raising slow. A child, raising a child is the most important thing a woman can do. True. Okay, but the fathers also have a role in that. And of course. And also have another role in the world. How many inventions have women made? I don't know how this is. None. Name one. Men, Name one. Men have invented. That's straight no, I can tell you, because I've talked about this. That's men have invented 90 plus percent of inventions that you enjoy. Women don't invent anything. And they don't have and they don't have infrastructure jobs. This is what I'm telling you. They need to be home with kids. Because even when they do get jobs, they get air-conditioned, cushy jobs where they're just sitting behind a desk. They don't work real hard jobs a lot of times. And here's the thing too, you're saying, oh, career, career, career. You just admit it. Like, I don't, like most women don't even want a career. I'm not saying that though. You're Why making the argument for that. Because some do. A majority don't. But some do, and why is that oh. going to come off all of the women? 
Some somebody give me some painkillers, bro. Go ahead. Yes, feminism is lied to. Who told you to and dream? You, and where'd you get that dream from? School. From being raised as a, as a human. With my own, with my own dreams. With my own self of, sense of self. Guys, it's so it's so deep that she doesn't even know that feminism is what is programmed her to think this way. Yeah, exactly. 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 So if um, are we are right? not equal we're not. Yeah. we're not psychologically, physically, yeah. but we're still human. I'm still a human and I deserve the same things that you do. But, but we are not designed the same way. We have different inclination, we have different tastes, we have different but who's gonna tell her bro? Somebody s- rescue her. Why don't you be focusing on kids? Why don't you be focusing on kids and raising a family? Oh, no. Wow. Anyway, yeah. You're like, just saying that because you just. I don't, even, I don't even know why. I mean, it's the truth. The majority of women would prefer to stay at home and raise kids and then oh, no. their career. Okay. Hey, man, can you stop with the yeah. random yeah. shouting? No, stop, stop, can you stop? stop. Even if that's true, the majority. So where, do that, where does that other minority lie? They're, they're discarded. They don't matter. So the minority of men who don't want to be providers, they don't matter to you? Are you talking about men that don't want to be providers? Yeah. Well, again, that's a problem because of feminism. Feminism is a problem. That's above all of us. Neither you or I or you or you or any of us have anything to do with the providing of children. Okay, but what about the men that do? Do they have to be provided? You have accepted the propaganda. I have. You have? I have. You have. You're indoctrinated by feminism. Why do you think that? You're literally talking about. I've been listening to you very closely. You've just been trying to drown me with your thoughts. That's what you've been doing. No, I'm just saying that you've been indoctrinated by feminism. Why? Why have I been indoctrinated? Because you're pursuing your career over family and you think that. I am not, though. I have a man. I'm 22. Who says we're not going to have children? Who says that when I become. Bro, she argued for about 10 minutes of a, how a career is, a woman should have a career and then family and now she's saying, no, I'm not like that. Why are you defending something that you're not yourself? I don't even think she believes in it, she just wants to debate. I'm a lawyer and I pass the bar exam and I'm a lawyer and I have my own firm. I'm not going to be like, okay, I have enough right. money to the kids. If, said, if, said, if you said tomorrow, quit law school and let's focus on having a family, would you quit? Maybe, yeah, maybe. There you go. So if, he, if he had enough, if he had enough to support us, I think they need to be prioritizing family and children, not a career. Who says that 
they can't do can't both work. though. You can't. How can you do you both? So you then you, okay, so then we're, we're, we're at the same level that men who, men are not fathers. They're just providers and they just make money and men are just mothers. Yes. The woman, the woman stays mothers. home and the man goes to work. So men are not That's fathers. Men. men are not fathers. And they have no, if you are being a father. If, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Oh, this is a tough problem, bro. She constantly contradicts herself. She's not, she's not making any sense. She's not making any sense. She makes zero sense, guys. You matter. You're not just a she I makes zero sense. I do make sense. You make zero sense, but it's okay. Yeah. 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 Celebrating. Well, she kept constant. She just contradicted herself straight one after another, one after another. She said, "Oh, family and mother and career and mother and all this." Like, bro, titles, but like, I, like I said, one job that a woman have that a man can't do, and that's produce. And I think that's creation, creation, and produce creation. Yeah, produce another life. And I think a woman should be more focused on that than how much money she's gonna make in law firm. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, if you liked it. Make sure to like, subscribe and share. Check out Fresh and Fit. The link will be in the description box below. Till the next video. You know what to do. Whatever you want to do. I don't care man.